What is up guys, Austin Richo here, back again doing another LEGO Harry Potter set. This time we have set 75948 Hogwarts Clock Tower. And so this is a bigger set side to readjust the camera, so it's going to be more of a top-down angle on this set. But it's got 922 pieces, and it's a continuation of our Hogwarts Castle build. Unfortunately, I wanted to put this with the other pieces of the Hogwarts Castle, but I don't have it built together because I don't have any place to store it. So usually after I do these videos and stuff, I have to end up taking them apart and putting them in storage. And so unfortunately, I don't have it all built together to be able to show you what it looks like all together but I'm sure you can see pictures in other people's videos if you want to see that but unfortunately I can't show that to you. We'll go ahead and start with a look at the minifigures so this is from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire so we got the Yule Ball going on around here and then of course some other scenes from that movie as well but here we have Harry Potter in the Yule Ball outfit as all the characters will be in their outfits there. so Harry Potter in his nice dress robe with an all black suit on the outside a white undershirt and a white tie then he's got his long hair because of course in this movie the kids started to have their hair longer and stuff so they has those long hair all swept to side of course his glasses and scar as usual and a print there on the back with more of an angry face and then of course his wand as well next up we have Ron of course in his funny outfit here his really old looking outfit that he said looks like his great aunt Tessie's and stuff we've got Ron here of course with his longer hair as well his longer red hair a smirking face there and a weird whatever face on the back then we got his dress robes of course the all red here it's got the frills and everything a blackish tie and everything so just a very weird looking suit then he's got some black legs there and his wand as well and you can see some of the design there on the back printed as well then we've got Hermione which she's a little bit different so she is in her Yule Ball outfit as well her nice pink dress here as you can see so there she's got her hair all done up it looks very old school it looks kind of funny though to me it doesn't really look like Hermione's hair from the movie but it's very like nice looking it's got a bun here on the back with the hair and curls hanging down then it's all nice and curly there in the front and everything her face there with an additional angry print there of course Ron makes her mad during the U ball and everything so then we've got her outfit here so again she's in the nice pink dress with the details on the side there and everything's got a pink bow wrapped around it and all the frills down at the bottom but it's a little bit different so she doesn't have a leg print she has a separate brick print here with part of the dress printed onto it and then another magenta like pink brick at the bottom attached on to be like her shoes and stuff so very interesting that they did that they didn't give her the separate legs or anything but, but I guess to give her a dress with Without the dress lope brick they kind of just did this additional two by one brick with the additional printing onto it and stuff and then her wand there as well then we have the other triwizard champion so we'll go with cedric first so in a cedric is in an outfit very similar to harry's the only difference is he has a black tie instead of the white tie like harry did so he's got his hair there all nicely done and swept back with the brown hair additional face on the back another like angry face but a nice suit overall again black legs and then a wand as well then we've got victor crumb which again does me doesn't look much like victor crumb but we'll just have to go with it so there's a look at his face there he's got his hair so he's got this shorter black hair that's kind of like all curly and stuff it's kind of like afro-y design I don't really know exactly what it's supposed to be but it doesn't look very correct and stuff he should be more bald than anything print there on the back as well then he's in his Bulgarian inspired outfit so a red shirt there with some buckles going across it some fur hanging down as you can see continues on there on the back some black leggings and his wand then we have Miss Fleur de la Cour in her nice dress and so for soft face so there's her look she's got some lipstick there on her face to make it different then she has her nice blonde hair pulled up into a ponytail back printing there where she's kind of like a worried face then she's got a grayish blue looking dress I don't really know the exact colors but as you can see it's a nice dress looking at the top then just flowing at the bottom then she's got some flowers there decorating the top it's kind of got a metallic look to it as well and she does have the new dress brick here at the back and stuff and then and then she has her wand as well then we have our headmasters we'll go ahead and start with Madame Maxine here of course the super tall lady as you can see she's part giant stuff but you can see she's taller than Dumbledore there but here's a look at her so there's a look at her face again she has lipstick on as well I like the designs to make her look older and stuff there in the face she's got her bob haircut there and then a worried face there printed on the back then she's got her dress on so it's a white and purple dress you can see the white with all the purple or I guess it's purple with white spots all over it and you can see the white sashes there on the front and the white arms and sides and stuff and then continuing on there to the back where she of course has this giant float brick that's got the print on the back as well continuing on with the same design there and then she has her wand and stuff so very cool I like how they made her taller with this brick to make her stand out from everybody else since she is a taller person and our last character here is Dumbledore of course my favorite person so he is in his dress robes as well so of course we've got his hat up top there a brown hat with the brown tassel his long gray hair coming down to the back his long gray beard in the front his half moon spectacles there on his face then he's got his outfit on here with like a white and gold design and then of course the purple arms and purple legs there coming out from underneath and again he has the slope brick as well design continuing on to the back there with like the hood hanging down at the back and stuff it looks very nice and he has of course the elder one in his hand of course just 
looks like a normal one for this. But very cool overall for him and his dress outfit. Then we've got actual Hogwarts itself. So we've got the clock tower. We can turn around here again. It's not going to be a perfect view, but there we can see the clock tower. From the top, so we have the clock here and then an additional little clock because if you remember like in the movie stuff, they have all sorts of little clocks and dials going around it as well. But from the front, it does look pretty neat and everything. It looks pretty close to the actual like clock tower down here at the bottom. It doesn't seem to as well. Of course, it's got more space and everything than it does here. And then of course, the top just starts to slope up. We'll see that in a second because I'll end up raising the camera later on to see all that. But then off to the side, we have continuation of the Hogwarts Crack Castle here. So of course, we have some like holes and walls and stuff, a tower, and then some additional walls here with the space on the top to continue on. That connects onto here with the Whomping Willow set that had the wall that you could walk the characters across on top. And then this is modular as well. So we have the parts that can separate out like that and you can put it onto either side or transition it again. Build the castle however you want. Again, it's got the Technic pin here, then the additional Technic piece there. So instead of two pegs, it's just got one. So it comes apart easier, um, but doesn't hold as well, but it's still, it's not terrible. And you just snap it together like that. And then again, you can rearrange Hogwarts however you want it to look. And transitioning to the back here, we'll go to the inside of Hogwarts if we can see it all. We'll start with the far side here and move over. So over here, we've got the Yule Ball and we'll bring in some additional stuff. So I like this piece. So again, we have the top up here that's supposed to be the Hogwarts wall. You know, again, people can walk out. Then we have this additional piece that comes over to a dancing ballroom with a design that you can twist it around and put the characters on, which I'll do here in a second. And then you can turn it around and it'll be like they're dancing. And we have some additional features as well that come in. We have a Christmas tree here. So a tree with a bunch of snow on it. And of course, a star at the top there. Then we have the tables that the kids can sit at and stuff. And it's got all sorts of nice glassware. I really like this one a lot with all the different uh, glass pieces that you put on it. And then we have the other one with some glasses and stuff on it as well. And I like the table design with like the icicles coming off of it and stuff to make it look very wintry and Christmassy. So there I put all the characters on. I just kind of paired them off. Unfortunately, there's not enough to make it even, but I've got Dumbledore and Maxine as they dance together. I have Crumb and Hermione dancing since they were dates. And I just put Cedric and Floor together. And of course, Ron and Harry since they're always together anyways. But then you can just twist it along. And as you can see, they kind of dance around in a circle and stuff and all go in the same direction and everything. So it's kind of cool and neat that they added that on there. And back behind here, there's another detail, which is not really that important, but just a holder with a flame coming out of probably like a candle holder or something back there. And then we can transition into our next little location. So here we have the bath here. So where Harry takes the golden egg and puts it in and finds out the secret of the second task with the mer people and everything there. And it's pretty cool. I don't know if I can get this lifted up so you can see it, but it even has the stained glass with the mermaid there. So that's pretty cool that they have that just a sticker on a clear glass piece and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Then I like even the faucets there with like the water pouring down at him into the bath and stuff it looks pretty cool. Then up top up here, we have Dumbledore's office. So we have his desk here. We've got some notes, a feather. We have the pin sieve, a light. We have the sword of Gryffindor up top. Then on the sides here, we have some bookcases and these two front ones have dead headmaster stickers on them and stuff there as well, since those are in Dumbledore's office. Then in the back, you can see we have the sorting hat and then Fox in the back there, which of course you can't really see too well. Fox back there. And then of course, Dumbledore's chair there in the middle. Then we transition into the clock tower part. So down here at the bottom, we just have a chest with some nothing in it. I don't think yeah, it's completely empty. We have the goblet of fire here. So the goblet with the blue flyer coming out of the top. Then we have defense against the dark arts class here. I wasn't exactly sure that that's what it was, but I've seen some signs it is. So we have the desk here, the main desk of Moody's desk with a nice little book piece that you can open up here. And it actually has a page inside. Of course, it's for Wingardium Leviosa, which is not learned at this point, but it's got that there. We see we got, I think it's called the faux glass there in the back. So that's one thing that makes this a defense against the dark arts class. So it's got the faux glass there back on the shelf with, of course, some containers and everything. Then we've got a desk here, which of course a capsule here and a lamp. And then we have a chalkboard here that said Moody and it's counting out the three unforgivable curses stuff that of course the kids learn about and everything there as well. It's pretty neat to include that classroom and we get that in there. And as I raise it up here to the top, you can see the hospital wing at the very top there. So you can see there's two beds, some like drawers and everything with lights, of course, the little dividers and stuff. I like that they included the dividers in there as well. So it's pretty neat that's got that, but nothing really else included. It does have a crank here that you can crank around, which controls the clock in the front so we'll take a look at that in a second but overall very cool for the inside the clock tower piece and everything i really like of course the back of these how they have all these little scenes and stuff those are always part of my favorite things of these sets but let's go ahead and turn it around so here's again the look at the top where you can see more of the roof and everything and again the clock tower you can take the little crank and turn it around of course the hands just stay in their exact same position that you put it in it just cranks around maybe should make time go the proper direction but then you can see the roof up top here and of course has these little parts that just you know can fold open i think they're kind of stuck because there's um, flat things here on the side that can fold up which is just part of the design so nothing too special and then these fold out so again it's just the way the roof is made to get the slopes and stuff it doesn't add anything for playability or anything it's just kind of there so that is everything we can look at here on the hogwarts clock tower set again set 75948 of the lego harry potter sets so 
I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite character out of this set is. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character of all time? Let me know in the comments. And let me know what you thought of this set overall. Whether you like the look and design of it. Whether you like the rooms inside that they included. The Yule Ball stuff. Let me know your opinions down in the comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel to see more LEGO videos. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.